Our topic for today is batteries. What is the general batteries and GMDSS batteries? I'll show you what is batteries inside our battery room. Before lighting fitting is open, must be supply is turned off. That is our switch for our lightings and then our lightings inside battery in our battery room is explosion proof before I take this video I already vent this battery room okay this is our explosion proof lightings this is connected from normal and the E logo is the emergency connected in emergency switch port it has a fire extinguisher co2 then this is our batteries it has a sign signage and then it has a eye wash this is the important you need to check the expiry date for this one Okay, this is new 2013 I'm sorry 2023 it's the expiry date okay it has a mirror case for emergency you must check this one always also you have a apron this is our gloves Double gloves. This is our goggles, but our battery is maintenance free. But the protocol is you have a apron, gloves, goggles, and eye wash, and also it has a MSDS. And this is the apron other ships has a non maintenance free this is useful for uh, topping up or for maintenance to avoid the chemical splash through your skin and then the goggles also splash through your eyes this is our voltmeter analog voltmeter by the way our unit or a set one unit is two volt two volts each means 12 pieces times two equals 24 volts one set is 24 volts we will check every batteries okay two volts every uh every week we need to check our batteries okay each of these we need to check so that we know the batteries are good or bad we need to check every unit okay all batteries above 12 uh, sorry 2 volts Before I take this video, I already tightened all volt and nuts. And then carried out other maintenance about these batteries. Ok, 
Okay. Every unit has a 2 volts on it. Two volts, two volts. Okay, our batteries is still good. This is our radio batteries, or some called GMDSS batteries. Manufacturer name Global. Type sealed lead acid type, rated 24 volts, and our capacity is. 200 amps per hour and then about 10 hours this is the design of our system exchange period about five years it depends upon the temperature or ambient sometimes it has three years or five years and same with our general service batteries same manufacturer the difference about GMDSS batteries and general services batteries the GMDSS batteries supplies only at SATC, VHF, VHF1, VH2, LRIT or Philcom I will show you later this is the room of electric equipment room located at the bridge near at the bridge this is the distribution panel this is our meter for our low insulation for 24 volts this is the charger controller for our batteries this is the meter low insulation meter we have this air test the left side is the amp meter At the other side is is the voltmeter analog voltmeter You can see also in the charger controller it has a digital numbers. This is the selector. If you select for the voltmeter charger or the bus means this is the ammeter. Ammeter for the charger or the bus line means the output. This is the source for the charger. The emergency room. KTE battery charging and discharging board. This is the transformers for batteries or battery charger. This is the breakers. This is the breaker for the batteries. This is the breaker output of the charger. This is the fuses. If you change the batteries, just turn off this breaker. I'll show you later. This is the emergency source if you turn off the emergency lightings are turned on emergency nav instrument instrument distribution panel public address bridge console engine console that is the wa that is the batteries that is supplied for general service this is the monitoring for the discharging of the batteries if the battery is low that is the the unit will detect this one is the insulation meter 
or insulation monitor you can set also the setting right now the set point is 0 0.1 A look the connection diagram 4 and 5 is the meter 6 is the ground 9 and 10 is the positive and negative supply the contact is 1 2 3 If you turn uh, if you change the batteries just simply turn off this breaker and then you can change the batteries this is the diagram batteries for the general service MCCD2 that is the breaker number if you turn off that one you can change easily the batteries Okay, because the charger supplies the unit unit system okay let's try act one this is the distribution below is the emergency lights okay let's try to turn off it that is the procedure how to change the batteries just turn off one breaker okay this is the bridge console it has a 24 volts feeder panel this is at the back of bridge console can see there is a fuses this is the diagram ah sorry this is the distribution ghost neck light telegraph but this is the instruments auto telephone we sell bin wash gas, ha gas handling then this is the chainsaw don't worry to turn off that one because it has a backup supply it has a 22 to 20 to 24 volts power supply if you turn off or pull that fuse the 40 uh, 50 amp fuse but the actual there is 40 40 amps you can put you can isolate by removing that one okay if you have low insulation about this one this is the isolation breaker for this bridge console 24 volts supply this is the NID NID panel emergency navigation instrument devices also 24 volts autopilot magnetic dimmer echo sounder speed lag navtex uh, is this act this all of this one data logger act this two that's a 24 volts this is our radio batteries so this is I show you previously right now we are here in GMDSS this is our GMDSS panel Shendong Digitech the batteries for GMDSS is is here the charger is here power supply
whole power supply of the equipments is here. Power supply and also the chargers. This is the the parts located at the gym DSS panel. The gym DSS units is Bruno. This is LRIT Philcom 18. That's a main source and the charger source. As you can see, there is a isolation for this one. Switch for GPS. This is for load test. You can see, battery is in use means you turn off the charger when you turn on that's that is the change over for the main this is emergency light battery charger must put in auto mode this is sat -C. at the left side is the LRIT and the right side is sat -C. This is the VHF. The other one is also a VHF. This unit is connected to GMDS source. First GPS 1, GPS 2, VHF 1, VHF 2, and then the upper one is for the LRIT and SATSI. Okay, that is the coverage for GMDSS unit. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates thank you very much